Jasmine and Shay, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a braided anklet. So what you're going to need for this anklet is some string. I'm using waxed cord and I just got this off of Amazon. And then you're going to need a ruler um, so you know what length to make the bracelet or anklet. And then you're going to need a lighter to seal the anklet and then just some scissors. Um, the string. I just wanted to put a disclaimer in here that you need wax string to be able to use the lighter and seal it. If you use other string, I'm not sure if it's able to melt the way wax um, string does. So if you just have regular like cotton string, I wouldn't use the lighter and I would just tie it and cut it instead of um, using the lighter like I did in this tutorial. <laughs> So, for this anklet, you're going to need something to tie the string onto. So, that could either be a water bottle, I just have my hydroplast, or you could also just tape the string to the table, but for me, I'm going to use my water bottle. So, first, you're going to want to cut the string to three pieces that are each 60 centimeters. So, since my ruler is only 30 centimeters, I just go all the way down um, twice. And then once I have my first string, instead of using the ruler again, I just um, measure it with the string I already cut. So there's my three strings. And then for the end strings, which are basically um, the these two here that you tie around the ends, you're gonna wanna make those 17 centimeters. And then same thing, once I cut the one, I just use that to measure the second one. And then for this little piece that makes it adjustable, you're gonna just wanna cut a piece that's about nine centimeters. It doesn't have to be exact, it has to be big enough that you can um, tie it a couple of times. So now once you have your three strings, what you're gonna wanna do is line them all up together. And then kind of push it down so it's all even. And if it kind of gets tangled, I just take my fingers and um, untangle it. And then once you get to the end, you're gonna fold the two together and pinch it with one finger. So now once you take your water bottle, you're gonna put it through the top, grab it so there's a loop here, and then put the part you're pinching through the hole. So then you have this little knot up here. And then once you do that, it'll be ready to start braiding. So you can either for this part, if you have water in your water bottle, it should be heavy enough that you can just braid it, or you can like put it between your legs. But you're just gonna wanna sort it into three um, sections of two, and then braid, yeah, just start braiding regularly till you get to the bottom, leave a little bit of space, um, it doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom, but probably about 
an inch from the end of the string. And what I want to do is make sure that it's flat every time it comes across. So sometimes one string might want to flip over the other. And if that happens, just flatten them out. Okay, so now that it's gotten pretty close to the bottom, I'm going to grab my end string and tie it around twice. Around. And just leave a bit of space so you can go around again. So once I do this side, I go back around the back side. So at the very at the back. So right now what you're going to have is your braid and then two long strings both tied twice. And now what you're going to do is want to make a knot. So I have samples so I just line mine up with the sample and tie it where the knot ends but for reference it is about seven and a half ish centimeters um long and as long as it's kind of around there it should fit um most ankles but you can always make it bigger if you um, think it won't fit. So I just tie a knot twice. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I'll just line them up. And wherever the knot on is on one side, I'll make the knot on the other side. And then once you have your two knots for the last step with the string, you're going to want to take your two strings and make sure they're facing the same way. And then pinch them together like this. Then take your like nine centimeter string and put it under the two and just tie a regular knot. So it looks like this. Then you're gonna do, take the string on the right and make a four. And pull through and then do that once more. And then flip it over and again on the side on the right, Make a four. So now that you have everything, you're just gonna wanna cut it. So there's not as long strings. And now everything looks like this. And now you're going to take your lighter, and you want to be careful with this because you don't want to hurt your fingers. But light it, blow it out, and just press. And then on the side. And if there's any strings floating around, if you just put the lighter around, it will um, make them melt. And then on this same thing, and then for the very end here, you can either do it all together and press it or do the string from the knot by itself and then press these ones together. Um, I'm going to do it separately. And then 
once it gets really hot like that, I don't use my fingers. I blow it out and use scissors to press it down. Then wait a couple seconds and press it all together. And then the same on the side. There you have it. A braided ink cut and it's adjustable. You just take these two and you can tighten it or loosen it. And it's perfect. Um, you can wear it in the water, you can wear it um, on your everyday life. And you can use, choose any colors you want for these. Thank you guys so much for watching this um, tutorial on how to make a braided anklet. And if you have any suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, um, leave them in the comments below. And I will link my Etsy shop where you can purchase this anklet, um, braided bracelets, and plenty of other jewelry. Thank <laughs> you.